ओके हाय सो सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज ऑलवेज टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ ओके जस्ट यू कैन गो थ्रू दैट ओके या शुरू हाय मोहित गुड इवनिंग सो माय सेल्फ अशोक मोहा सो आई एम हैविंग ओवरऑल लाइक एट प्लस इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो व्हिच इंक्लूड्स द मैनुअल एंड ऑटोमेशन सो आई एम करेंटली वर्किंग फॉर द वन ऑफ द एमएनसी कंपनी सो विद द मल्टीपल क्लाइंट्स सो लाइक करेंटली आई हैव अ डोमेन नॉलेज इन द केमिकल डोमेन टेलीकॉम डोमेन एंड बैंकिंग डोमेन दीज आर ऑल द की डोमेन नॉलेज व्हिच आई एम हैविंग नाउ एंड i have a good exp- exposure like uh, working for working with the manual testing and like uh, automation as well so coming to the roles uh, uh, experience uh, details like i have like 5 plus 6 plus years of experience in the manual testing like around 2 plus years of experience in the automation testing so <laughs> this is about my experience so coming to the roles and responsibilities like uh, uh, we are majorly working on the agile method technology and we are apply, uh, we are like working on the working with the sdlc principle only so like what we will get is like once we get a requirement from the client like we'll start preparing the test cases so after completion of the test case preparation once we get a code from the developers Uh, we'll start working on the execution part so after completion of the manual testing like we'll go with the automation part so like uh, once the code is stable and like we feel like there is no bugs so that time we will go with the automation so because like uh, in the unstable builds like if we do automation that is a waste of efforts yeah. so that is a yeah uh, that is a reason like we'll complete the manual testing after that like we'll go with the automation so coming to the automation like we are using the java is the programming language and the test engine is the framework that is the main thing and the uh, report for report purpose like uh, uh, we are using the uh, Uh, log 4g is the uh, log 4g we are using for the logs and uh, uh, test ng reports we are using default report we are using okay. and like uh, uh, coming to the ci cd part like we are using the bamboo uh, bamboo and uh, bitbucket and git so these are all the key tools which we are using and also like i do have the knowledge in the sql and uh, mobile testing api testing so these are all my key skills ओके थैंक यू अशोक सो माय क्वेश्चन इज इन ऑटोमेशन राइट व्हाट इज योर रोल्स एंड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी इन योर करेंट प्रोजेक्ट लाइक व्हाट लेवल ऑफ जस्ट आई एम गोइंग टू चेक uh yeah sure like what we uh, what is my roles and responsibilities every day we like uh, what will happen is like automatic build runs will happen so every day we need to check the whether the build has happened properly or if any test case is failed like we'll check what is the reason for failing the test case particular test case sorry and for interrupt here so you are saying the build right so those build are running automatically or someone is going to trigger no no it will run automatically so we through the ci cd pipeline correct yes yes so yeah, any, we are using people. any build or any release happen right so automatically ci cd will uh, execute the test cases then getting the notification and you are going to check the report correct that is what you are saying uh, uh, no actually mm-hmm. uh, we are scheduling the every day in the night times oh okay. so uh, once yeah uh, uh, once we log in in the morning times like we'll check the uh, automation results mm-hmm. so if some test case has to be updated because of this some reason like we'll do the updation and uh, currently our framework is a stable like we are not doing any da- new development so like what we are doing is like we are uh, updating the scripts which are already present so we uh, basically we are ma- maintaining the scripts that is the main role which we are doing in our current project Oh, okay okay so are you involved in the script writing also uh, yes yes i was so earlier like when the framework is developing mm-hmm. so that time like i i involved in the script writing as well. so uh, yeah. the framework is already developed or means we are also involved in any a uh, sprint for the writing the script or it is complete uh, a script development is completed uh, script development is completed already okay so we are going to maintain right so if any failures are there ah. we, need, we are going to fix according to the failures right that is what yes, you are yes, okay yes that's correct okay uh, so are you following the agile methodology 
in your current project yes like, yes okay so yes we are just, using this yeah, so method. just i need to understand how your uh, you know the work is just started like what types of the activity you are getting okay uh, so like first uh, the work life will with this thing so a mm-hmm. pa planning so in the pa planning like we will discuss all the requirement and number of the pa- number of people requirement each and everything will be discussed in the pa planning so next coming to the planning in the plan mm-hmm. meeting is held by the um, uh, scrum master so he will ask the based on the user story how many forms uh, story points it requires to complete so one story point is equal to 8 8 hours that is one oh, day okay. of my work so okay. that is uh, that is the estimation we will give it based on the complexity of the story we will give the estimation point so based on that he will take the story and he will create it in the kanban board so later on what we will do is like based on the story like requirement uh we will start preparing the test cases okay okay nice yeah. so uh so in uh, automation right so you are comfortable with java programming right so yes, how yes. will you rate out of five in java um i can say myself like four four in java okay so rate okay i will give you end of this interview some feedback okay and some tips okay. also okay so i'm just so sure. <laughs> writing everything so ah, your correction nice. in real time that will help you okay so sure. uh, so in java right so can you explain what is polymorphism concept in java uh yeah so polymorphism is like uh, it's mainly uh, two types like uh, uh, one is the compile type polymorphism run mm-hmm. time polymorphism so basically those two are called as a method overloading and method overriding so this is about the polymorphism and uh, what is the exact meaning of the polymorphism is like mm-hmm. the object is changing its character in the different situation so that is the main uh, definition of the polymorphism okay so polymorphism means one person having the different variable a uh, different character so just yeah. i am teaching you i am a teacher when i will go to the yeah, office yeah, that, so i am the one object how to achieve yes, the polymorphism by using the overriding and overloading so can yes. you define what is the overloading and overriding yeah uh, method overloading is like uh, uh, within the class like if we uh, if we pass if we pass the some different way, uh, values to the uh, current values like that is method overloading overriding is like that is like out of the uh, for different classes okay so over overriding means b overriding means b have a uh, two classes it must be having the two classes how to implement overriding concept so redefining super class non static method in subclass with the same prototype that is called yes, yes. method overriding means yes. your method signature must be same return type also same accessibility modifier means public private it should be a yes. uh, you cannot decrease that right so suppose mm, yes. i can give you the example of um, web driver right so when you are using web driver driver equal to chrome driver so we are holding the chrome driver right so super class type we are holding the subclass type object but implementation is different we are calling driver dot get and where are we holding chrome uh, driver object right so yes what happen the get method is same but it will it will execute what type of the object we are holding and overloading means we have a same method signature is different so i can give you the example of system dot out dot print ln right so method name is same okay but we are passing the different types of the parameters okay ah, that yes, is called yes, yes, overloading concept so what yes. is interface in java uh interface is like uh, hide the uh, implementation and it will show the only necessary things okay anything else for interface uh yes uh, so interface is like uh, it is uh, uh, like what what we can say is like uh, mm-hmm. uh, it is a blueprint of the class like it it is like um, uh, 
uh, it has like a static and uh, abstract methods as well okay so you can see web driver is your interface in selenium correct right yes yes correct so interface is a keyword okay interface is a keyword and interface is always a super class okay yes so interface web driver and we are defining a subset of operation okay so interface okay. is a fully unimplemented class which is used to declare some set of operation that set of operation is called abstract method okay we cannot create an object of interface so if you will go for the web driver that is the one of the means we have a list of the interface over there okay so mm -hmm. many things are there will come on that so do you know uh, what is list in java what is list list ha huh, list i know what is list in java uh list is like set of where uh, set of uh, uh, what we can data stored in the uh, mm -hmm. uh, index format okay yeah so list is a collection in java which is used to store uh, you know duplicates object and it is working on the index ah, okay yes, so it is a sub interface of collection and we have a implementation class of array list so many things inside this we have so are you comfortable with selenium like have you worked on the selenium yes yes i worked on selenium also. okay so in selenium right uh, what is locator in selenium uh locators are like uh, it will uh, it will locate the mm -hmm. uh, element web element web element in the particular page okay so can you tell me some name of the locators yeah uh, so we have the xpath and uh, uh, by using the uh, dom stack <laughs> hello yes 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 go ahead as of go ahead yeah yeah uh, so we have the xpath and uh, by id by name uh, by also like by class name oh, okay. uh, and also okay. css selector and link list uh, tag names and xpath uh, partial link test okay. so these are all the main uh, locators which we so can so how how to handle uh, alert pop up in uh, selenium so, yes so in the selenium like we have a uh, one method called alert so mm -hmm. we have to do like uh, alert dot accept so that time it will accept the uh, so alert my question is how to switch on the alert pop up what is uh, the code? alert yeah alert dot switch to so we have to uh, do that and uh, uh, after that like we uh, we need to click on the uh, okay. it will yeah so when you have a alert right so you have to yeah. enter some text on the alert pop up so what method we can use which one we have a prompt alert right you have to enter in the text box some value the what method we can use alert dot accept no alert dot accept it will click so basically in the alert we have a method accept method dismiss me uh, dis dismiss method click on the yes, cancel yes. and text get text method you if you want to capture some of the text which is available on the web page uh, then get text yeah get then text. we have a send keys you can use the send keys to send enter keys as well. yes yes so do you know what is a uh, action class in java Ah yes. Action so, class. S T I O N S S. Action yeah, class. Yeah. Yes. 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 So why so we use action, that action class? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Uh, action class like uh, what uh, the main purpose of the action class is like uh, uh, if suppose like if we want to perform some particular action, we'll use the action class. Like uh, if if we want to click some particular button or uh, if we want to enter the text boxes in uh, all the actions, like we can use the action class. Yeah. So in action class, uh, we can perform a mouse over event and we can perform send case. Yes, yes okay Correct. sorry uh mouse over event and keyboard operation so in action ah. class we have a many method like yes, yes. move to element right double click context click right so yes. these are the important methods are there so have you worked on api testing uh, do you have uh, any knowledge of api testing uh api manual testing i have knowledge so okay. i haven't worked much on that no problem uh, so can you uh Tell me what the tools you have used. Do you know the Postman? How to use that? Means yes, you work yes, on. Sir. 
okay yes, so I... suppose you have to validate one api right so what is the uh, important components are there uh one minute uh, can i repeat it yeah so suppose you are working on the one of the test cases of api right so whatever okay. the important means data you required and what type of the validation basically we do in the api testing okay so first we'll create the collections mm -hmm. so after creating the collection like uh, um, we'll create the test cases so okay. uh, in the collection like we'll create the test cases so uh, we have to enter the url url of the that particular page that will be provided by the developer so next what we will do is like we'll get the uh, credit one minute mm -hmm. so uh, yeah uh, and like in the body class uh, in the body uh, ra like we will check the re request and in the request like if we want to uh, modify something like we will do it and uh, depending on the call required like uh, if it is a get call or post call like we will select the particular call and we will do the send so based on that like we will get the response so response should be like uh, it should be like 200 or 201 if it is a post uh, post method like uh, it will give the 201 if it is like some other class like, uh, some other method like get or uh, some other thing like mm. we'll get the 200 so we'll verify that and we'll check okay. the what is the how much time it took and uh, these details will verify okay so got it so Asok, just i will give you some uh, feedback okay uh -huh. so feedback is please bit brush up on the java skill apart from that uh, i think i'm okay with that other part so bit brush up on the java skill and yeah, yeah. Uh, work on the rest assured also but because in the market they are looking for some rest assured apart from that we will discuss offline okay so mm -hmm. sure. and one more thing when we are uh, giving the virtual interview it happened with me also sometime so mm. you have a better eye contact with camera okay mm, yes understood right so how this thing happen just open your webcam and just sit in front of and try to speak so just you have a eye contact proper eye contact okay this thing happened yeah. with me also when i was attending the interview yeah. so some of the interviewers suggested me also <laughs> okay so uh, they are saying where where are you seeing uh, see the uh, <laughs> camera yeah. so this thing happened okay so oh. that's it okay and apart from that i will give you some other tips for preparation okay so mm, i'm sure. just uh, stopping